Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going to be part one of my rock bottom walkthrough in Kenshi. So, we've just started the game as you can see, we're still on day one and we're basically en route to Shobatai, which is the main town that we're going to want to start at. Due to the fact that we are malnourished and uh, poverish, there's a chance the guards will attack us or put us in jail when we first arrive. It's kind of something that can't, uh, if it happens to you, you're just going to have to restart. That's really the only remedy for it. Um, it's just something to be aware of. Um, the first hour or so, probably longer, of our playthrough is going to consist of really doing nothing but mining. That's what we're going to be focusing almost all of our effort on is mining, 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 mining. That way we can uh, afford some of the the stuff we need for our character because we're going to need food we're going to need armor we're going to need an arm we're going to need a weapon we're going to need more companions so mining is a good way as you can see laboring it's a good way to get started with all of this also we kind of have multiple options at the start here I could focus on doing nothing but mining for literally the first like 100 days of my game if I wanted to. Or I could get captured by slavers and basically use slavery to level up my character. So those are like the two routes that are available to me. And I'm going to probably show both routes a little bit throughout this walkthrough. I probably will let one cat. Ooh. Okay. The skimmer, the skimmer body spooked me a little bit. Let's see if I can get to the skimmer body, though. And who are these people walking? Okay, bounty ooh, bounty hunters. Okay, I don't think they'll bother me because I don't have a bounty. These skimmers, though, are worth looting because of this. I can take the meat off their bodies, which I can eat. And I can also take the animal claws. Or, sorry, I can't eat the meat because I'm not a Scorchlander. Sorry. These skimmer bodies are going to be some of the best early game money that we can get. So I actually should probably focus on looting these instead of mining. I have to keep an eye out of this guy, though. This, uh, noble hunter right here. Or, uh, sorry, that's tech hunter. There's, uh, noble hunters, though, that patrol through this area, and they will openly attack me if they see me. I have to be very, very careful of those. Um, some slavers will attack me sometimes. It's kind of hit or miss. These tech hunters, though, they will not attack me. I don't have anything to fear from them. I did just get hit there by uh, one of the tech hunters while running by, so I should have been a little bit more careful. That's okay, though. It uh, gave me some toughness. XP, right? Yep. Half a toughness point. So let me get inside with all of my ill-gotten gains, and uh, let's sell them and profit. I should buy something so that the guards don't... Uh, as you can see, the guards just gave a dot, dot, dot when I entered town. They're not, they don't know what to say about me. They're not too happy about me being completely naked and being a poor, uh, a poor person because it's illegal in the United cities to be poor. So let's say you can take my goods. Give me, uh, we'll carry around six meat. I have 1,700 cats. I should buy a uh, first aid kit for, as well because I took a little bit of damage. And that'll be the first things we start with. A little first aid kit and a little bit of um, food. So where is... You don't have any of the really basic first aid kits? I guess this one will do. Now I'm healing. Alrighty. So, there is no robotics merchant here, if I remember correctly. We will need to uh, go someplace else in order to... Ooh, that wasn't for me, right? Escape slave? It's not me, right? Please don't be me. I'm not a slave, but... They've, they've done that to me before. Doc is still unconscious out there. I'm just looking around seeing what, what, what there is to grab. There's manhunters. I don't really want to get near them. The caravan drones, they won't bother me too much. I guess we'll go back to mining. I don't really like being around all of these manhunters. They, uh, 
I'm pretty sure they will attack you if you're not near a town. I'm going to level up Sneak a little bit here, too. Even though when they see me, it won't go up. Or yes, it does. It levels up a lot faster when they don't see you. When there's nobody around that, oh, cool, it does level up. The reason we're leveling that up, though, is because, uh, which one of these? Okay, that was the one I was mining. The reason we're leveling that up, though, is because I want to, um, in case this character ever gets captured by slavers, I will need high stealth in order to escape. That's one of the main things I'll need. So basically, a little bit of uh, food, a med kit, and then back to mining. We have a, enough food to basically end our malnourishment, which is ideal, which is the main thing we're aiming for. And we're just going to focus on raising that laboring skill for the time being. What is this approaching me? Lost drone. I'm very lucky right now. There's been no skimmers that have come by this area. Usually there are. It's hard to mine out here for 20, more than 24 hours without being bothered by skimmers. You also have to watch out for noble hunter patrols because they will attack you if they see you. Uh, Manhunter and slave, uh, whatever, slave hunter patrols. Sometimes in my experience, you have to watch out for them. Manhunters usually attack you more than the slave hunters. Uh, if you are or have been a slave, the slave hunters will attack you. Also, with how I am currently dressed, the slave hunters will likely attack me because I have basically no gear on whatsoever. I am going to push this to the limit and try to get as much copper as I can before going back into the town, I guess. Because there are no skimmers out here, and for whatever reason, we're very lucky. Let's, uh... Start naming stuff. Because I'm making a slave squad because I'm fairly confident I'll one of once I start make hiring recruits, people are going to end up getting enslaved. It's just in you when you're in the United States, slavery is part of the culture, and you're just going to end up either your main character, one of your characters in your squad, somebody's going to get enslaved at some point. It's just likely going to happen, unavoidable in my experience. And like I said, being enslaved in this game isn't the end of the world. It's a good way to raise your stats. You can raise toughness, you can raise laboring, and uh, when you're enslaved, it doesn't matter as far as, uh, whatchamacallit, your characters will basically keep themselves alive. Meaning they'll eat when they need to eat. They'll always stay almost malnourished, like at uh, 100 out of 100 hunger, but... And that's an issue when it comes to escaping. But as far as raising your stats and being there, it's not that much of an issue. My laboring is at 10, which means my uh, my production speed is increased. I have to keep an eye on that skimmer that's going back and forth over there. Skimmers will, uh, they have a chance of just basically one-shotting you when you're out here. What is this group? Bounty hunters? I don't like them creeping up on me either. Ideally, though, they will aggro a skimmer and flight the group of skimmers. And flight the skimmer. Because then I can loot the skimmer's corpse. Even better, if the skimmer takes out uh, one of them and I can loot their corpses, even though they probably don't have that much on them. Ooh, skimmer got fought.
Let's run over here to the skimmer body. Also raise my strength with all of the uh, copper I'm carrying. Like I mentioned before, we really should uh, get gear sometime soon for Almar. Because the United Cities guards will only tolerate me running through here so many times before they're like, Okay, you poor bastard. You're under arrest. What is it? Ooh, that's exactly who I wanted. Els. This is one of the characters you can get in Shobatai. Els, you give him 300 cats. And then, uh... You talk him into working for you like this. And there we go. As you can see, he's uh, a bit big boned. Els has a small bounty on his head. For the most part, he doesn't get bothered here, though. Um, where are you going? Oh, okay. He keeps running out to the mine. I don't want that. For the most part, though, the guards will not bother him in this town, though you will have to pay attention to bounty hunters outside of the town. They will uh, they will go after Els if they see him. So you have to be careful with Els for a little while until his bounty um, expires. However... He is a companion that you can easily get for just 600 cats. Or, sorry, 300 cats. So, that is the trade-off. Bounty, but 300 cats. And he also comes with these rum, cactus rums too, which more, which more than pay for what you spent on L's. So, let's see. Are there any other companions in here? Meathead I could get. Foreign I could get who has a little bit of stats. But foreign's probably going to cost either 6,000 or 9,000. 6,000 cats. I don't have that much. Izumi. Izumi is one of the named uh, unique recruits that you can get. So, And I think she requires 6,000, right? 2,000. There we go. So, yes. This is Jewel, right? Yep, there's Jewel. Jewel, I think I don't... Uh, 6,000, yeah, I don't have enough to afford her yet, but I will soon. Izumi, let's buy you some food. So now we have a decent an initial team to uh, start with. Everybody's got some food. Let's uh, create a save file too, just in case anybody, uh, the United Cities guards decide to start attacking us. And we will aptly name it Rock Bottom since that's our, you know, what we're playing, Rock Bottom. Did I seriously? What is this? Oh, Heroes League. They're going to they're going to make fun of the Sheck in my group. Blah blah blah, bunch of racists. They will uh they will yell at anybody you have. If you have a Hiver in your team, they'll yell at the Hiver. If you have a Sheck in your team, they'll yell at your Sheck. Basically, anybody who's not a Greenlander or I think a Scorchlander, they bitch at. <laughs> You're calling L's a toothpick? Dude, he's like 300 pounds. This isn't good, though. See how they're uh, bitching at me? I need to get away from them because they'll decide to attack me at some point. I just want the skimmers. The other meat that I'm leaving on their corpses isn't that good. It's really not worth picking up. It doesn't sell for much, and most characters can't eat it anyway, so. What is this? General shop. Let's go over there and inside. That should, Maybe I can buy a piece of armor in here. Nope. basic med kits in there though if I wanted them eh, I know there's an armor shop here it's headgear though I don't think there's an actual armor shop in this town seriously these guys are just like stuck in a loop out here insulting uh, I want them to piss off so I can safely go outside So let's see. They're going to follow me, aren't they? Nope. 
Oh, yep, they are. That's exactly what I did not want. Okay, good. They leashed. Alrighty, so what, we're, what we are going to do is I'm going to have all of these characters mine. Uh-huh. One out of one on each mine. Of course they followed me all the way out there. See, now they will attack elves if I let them keep insulting elves. Eventually they'll, uh... Decide to just attack him. Um, I'm going to put Izumi and Almar on passive, and I'm going to let them attack Els. Wow, Els got seven toughness from that. That's quite a bit. Izumi can raise that. So what I'm going to do is I am... Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't. My arm. My arm. My crappy, crappy arm. So Izumi, I will have you pick up L's. And Izumi, I'm going to have you run back into town because I'm going to uh, show you a strength and athletics trick for early game when you're in Shobatai. And also, I am working on a copper mine opposite to the one that I was working on before. That is a-okay -A if you do that. Each of these copper mines can only have one character working on them at a time. So it's usually best to, uh, or rather, it usually doesn't matter if you end up, you know, working on one or the other. So see when your character is at this location in town right here. If you uh, assign them to work on the mine like this, you hold down shift and right click. Your character will run at the mine, but they will uh, get stuck. They won't have a clear path to the mine, or I don't really know how to explain it, but they will basically get stuck in this area like you see right now, running back and forth. This is good to do when you weigh down your character because you can strength this train them, and you can also athletics train them. Or if your character is carrying somebody like this, they will also get strength and athletics training for doing basically the same exact thing. So we're going to do some strength and athletics training on Izumi carrying Elds. And we're going to let Almar do the laboring for right now. Almar is going to suffer a penalty for laboring because he only has one arm. But that's A-OK -okay too. Is that a skimmer dead? Recovery coma. So let's run out there to the skimmer with a recovery coma and loot it. For whatever reason, I can't loot it. There we go. So we're getting very, very, very lucky with this save file and mines. Or, sorry, and uh, skimmers. Usually, I, I'm like constantly dodging skimmers over and... What is this on the ground? Seriously, what is that? I've never seen that before. Huh. That's weird. Anyway, usually there's always skimmers that uh, patrol through this area. And for some reason, we're just not getting them this time. Izumi has four strength and probably about 12 athletics. Nice. So she's leveling up quite, quite fast. So as you can see, Almar is starting to get encumbered, which uh, I will sell tomorrow when the lights come on and shops open up. I'll let Izumi run back and forth for all of today. Els should be, uh, he's probably ready. He's probably un uh, conscious there. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's conscious right now if I wanted him. Decent toughness though, uh, skill ups he got from getting wailed on by those enemies. So I'm pretty content with that. 
He's already a uh, halfway decent noob fighter. As you can see, this trick works wonderfully. It's one of my favorite tricks to do early game to level up athletics and strength. So long as your characters are uh, friendly with United Cities, you are able to do this. Nobody will bother you in this town. Just running back and forth like that. Like I said, too, keep an eye out for noble hunters, man hunters. Sometimes they are an issue. They usually patrol past this area more often than not. People do not bother you, but you have to keep in mind that we are in an area where people will bother you. Sometimes they'll stop and be like, hmm, you look like a slave. And then they'll attack you, and then they'll enslave you. If you're an escaped slave, then you have an even worth, worse issue because everybody will bother you. Man hunters will see you and bother you. Slave drivers will see you and bother you. Uh, bounty hunters will see you and bother you. So basically, you, you have a limited amount of time at this location until shit hits the fan. And basically, you either have to go to someplace other than a United Cities town or you have to deal with slavery. And I have a feeling in part two of this series, we're probably going to be addressing the big slavery question. If by the time I finish this video, somebody does not get enslaved, then I probably between this video and the next one, somebody will be. It's only a matter of time when you're in a United Cities town. It's only a matter of time. And like I said before, slavery isn't the end of the world if it does happen. We can uh, basically use it to level up stats. Stealth, lockpicking is a very important one that you can level up a lot in slavery. You need that for exploring almost everywhere else in uh, the game. So since it is day, we are going to go into town and sell. I can see there's some uh, skimmer fighting going on out there, which is uh, very, very lovely. I want some of that. I want in on that. I want that loot. All right. So now I have 4,000 cats, 4,700. A little bit more money. Still not a lot. So let's start looting these skimmers. What is this? Samurai. United City Samurai. So if I really wanted to risk it, I could go in for that. Sneak. As you can see, I'm... Somebody sees me. Not the dog. But probably somebody up on the United City's watchtower sees me. So I wouldn't be able to actually get the samurai without being seen and that would not be good also i would not be able to sell it well i would be able to, i would be able to sell it to the shinobi thieves in uh shobatai that would be who that would be the the target of are these noble hunt okay tech hunters wooden sandals so apparently somebody was sold into slavery here that's worth doing too holding down alt and paying attention to uh stuff like that because when you get caught as a slave driver or when slave drivers catch you, they uh, will take off your shoes. So see right here, I'm able to actually loot this samurai conscript. Nobody sees me. You can see based on my circle. And I could steal stuff off of his body if I wanted to. However, he has nothing, like legitimately nothing of value on his body. So I don't really care. I'm not going to take the uh, faction and reputation hit for uh stealing his shit and it's just not worth it it's it's also i can't wear his armor because then the united cities people will get very upset with me Really wish there was an armor merchant here, or if I'm forgetting if there is or not. 
Mechanical shop, travel gear. I guess we'll go back to travel gear. Because I need, uh, whatchamacallit. I do need a backpack sometime soon. Nice, 10,000 cats. So we're moving up. Let me buy these six uh, first aid kits. Because I'll need to give them to a few characters. A backpack would be very useful though for... Um, giving gear to multiple... Or giving food to multiple characters. Because if you have a backpack, all of your characters will eat out of it. So you don't have to worry... Oh, let me jewel, jewel, jewel is who I wanted. The unique recruit. little bit pricey, but it's a unique recruit, so I'm content with it. I'll send her out to work on the mine. Okay, well, he definitely does have a lot of headgear here. So, protection from dust storms, if you're, wor if you're wondering what that sort of stuff does, it will uh, make you, it will decrease the skill reduction when there's a dust storm. Because your characters will suffer a skill reduction when there is a dust storm. So this helm is probably the best I can buy from this. It's it is a specialist grade, so it's a bit much. I'm paying like two. Th yeah, I don't want to pay two thousand six hundred for it. I guess I'll buy this taggle must for my head. I look like a dork. I'm not wearing any pants, any shirt, but I'm wearing a head slot and wooden slippers or wooden sandals. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, running up here and seeing what's good. Outlaw farmers over here. So let's see. The wooden sandals I'll take. I'll take that weapon too. Pants I guess I'll take. I'll take everything that I can carry that will that I can sell. The wooden sandals I'll use on my characters. They are definitely 100% worth using um, because they increase my movement speed. They're actually one of the best uh, feet slots that you can get in the entire game. A lot of this other crap, though, is not that valuable. Again, I really need a backpack. I'm bringing Izumi out here too so I can carry more. And I'll put L's down once she gets out here. Hopefully no skimmers come while I'm uh, skimming the corpses. Pun intended. I, I'm not going to carry those shoes. I'm going to be selective with what I carry. And what I loot. Weapons are typically the most valuable things you can loot off the corpses. Their gear, not so much. Sometimes, depends on what quality it is, but not, not so much. No room for it, so we're basically running out of room. All of these starving vagrants. Let's look for more weapons. Horse chopper, excellent. Med kits are also good because uh, I think this is a skimmer nest right here that I'm at. Those bones on the ground make me think it's a skimmer nest. 
Which means that if all these bodies are here, they probably already awoke in the skimmers and drove them out of their home. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to do a constant rotation of checking for bodies in the vicinity and mining at the same time. Bodies will carry some items which I can sell for some money. I do have to keep an eye though out on what I loot and where I'm going to be selling that loot and also going into town with that loot. I don't want to... Uh, loot like United Cities Heroes or a United Cities Guard and then run into town wearing those items because uh, town will not be very welcoming if I'm wearing their guard's armor and then I run into town wearing it. They're going to be like, hey, that's our shit and basically attack me and enslave me. Well, they'll attack me, put me in jail, and then more or less when I'm in jail, I'll be bought by a slaver and enslaved. As you can see, though, we got some items, which will help out a decent amount. We are slightly more geared. Let me, uh, I'll drop that on the ground. I'll drop that on the ground. And Almar, let's uh, drop these on the ground. Els, you got sandals. Izumi, you got sandals. Cool. Everybody, Jewel, everybody but Jewel has sandals. So, Jewel, I will, uh... We'll use these sandals on you. Sandals are better, in my opinion, than Drifter's boots. Um, at least for Jewel. The issue with uh, sandals technically not being better for her is uh, she doesn't have any pants. So the Drifter's boots would technically be better for her because she doesn't have any pants. Let's see. I'll grab these. Shoddy grade. Is there any better... Ideally, I would like one that's better than shoddy grade that I'm actually going to wear. Standard grade, there we go. My wish has been granted. Nice. Heart protector. That's the bone dog I looted. This rebel farmer is, uh, he's got a long crawl ahead of him. Okay, so Jewel has a little bit more armor that I can give to my characters. So, Heart Protector, I will swap that out. Still no pants. At least Els can, uh... There we go. Els has shirt and pants. I'll drop them on the ground. Don't fuck with me, manhunters. Pretty please. You're a little homie who's limping. Jewel, I guess I'll run into town with you, too. No skimmer bodies out front. Usually when the game you leave your game on for a while like once we get to like day 10 You can start to assume that the amount of skimmers will not be as high as it was originally uh, It seems like a certain amount of enemies spawn until you log out of the game and log back in and then they seem to respawn Usually at least in my experience. That's how it's been. So There will be less enemies to loot as the days go on. However, conversely, it will be safer to mine 
So those that that's really the trade-off in my experience. And I uh, this time I'm probably going to take it the it's safer to mine route um, after a lot of the enemies are defeated because I'm going to write the guide for rock bottom um, after I do this video or at least write the guide up until the point you know where I am in this video or where I got to in this video. Basically, start out, make money, earn money, recruit characters, mine. Mine, 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 over and over and over. Get up, get all that copper. And eventually we're going to be buying a building in town. I would like to buy one of these uh, buildings that costs like this one right here, maybe. You can see it's about 20,000 cats. This one's 20,000 cats too, and this one as well. Uh, basically buy one of those buildings, put a small research bench inside, and then just build off of that. Also, there's another copper mine all the way out here if I want to do it. And also another copper mine over here if I want to do it. Or sorry, iron mine over there if I want to do it. I kind of do want to do them. But at the same time, it's uh, harder to keep track of all of my characters the more I space them out like this. Let's send them at the copper mine and hope for the best. The thing, uh, I'm taking silly risks because I haven't been attacked yet on this file, but it's worth mentioning, you should not take the sorts of silly risks that you see me, me taking. And the reason for that is, at this point in the game, if one skimmer attacks my characters, there's a chance he's just going to kill them. Because skimmers have like stats in the 30s and my characters have stats like below five. So, one skimmer is really, really bad. It's going to ruin my day. And if my characters get knocked unconscious, all it takes is a manhunter, a slave hunter, or a, a bounty hunter to come by to enslave me. Manhunters and slave uh, drivers, or whatever they're called, will enslave you much easier. But um, you have to keep an eye out for all of them. Man, I'm getting so lucky that nothing is coming by right now there's the skimmer no 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 see this is what happens the manhunters it's because I'm too far away from uh, Shobatai. You can see they're after Jewel. Running to town will not save Jewel. Uh, technically, it'll just doom Jewel further, I'm fairly certain. The Manhunters will still attack Jewel in town, knock her unconscious, and take her into slavery. See, watch. Right in the middle of town, they're going to... Oh, wow, Jewel is hitting them. You go, girlfriend. This is the downside with going out to that extra copper mine. I got greedy, and now, right now, I'm basically facing the penalty for doing so. Jewel is not going to win this fight. Even though she's doing like amazing. He's badly injured from his previous fights. Almar has no weapon, right? Yeah, no weapon. So Almar stands like no chance. If I am going to attack him next with Almar, I want that staff at least. Damn, Jewel. Damn, son. I am shocked she won. So we're going to take that. We're going to take that. We're going to take this. And we're going to take that. Because F you, Manhunter. 
That'll be an issue, though, when he wakes up. Let's see. Oh, cool. No issue fencing it whatsoever. I should sell the, uh, the pants I got, though, too, because I really don't want the drama of Manhunters seeing them and being like, oh, my God, they're our pants. Give us our pants back. I'm sure that's what the Manhunters sound like, too. Anybody who endorses slavery sounds like that, right? Right. So we are going to pick up this copper. That's right, Els. Get encumbered. Get encumbered, boy. I'm going to strength... Well, technically, I don't think I can strength train Els in the same way because I'll be using his mind. That's the downside with strength training in the way that I showed you earlier is it won't work if you uh, are currently using the mine. Oh boy, a skimmer. Let's go get him. So look, I'm taking L's over to this position. As you can see, he's going into the position where we can do the automatic mind trick. He's in position. Now let me uh, shift right click. Now he's not moving. It's because Almar is on the mine right now. So because Almar is mining, we can't do the mind trick. It's a big bit of a bummer. See, now watch. I'll send Almar over to this iron mine. And L's begins moving. And he'll do the mind trick. He'll run back and forth in that position like he always does. There you go. Just like that. So that is that is the 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 trade off. You can't use that mine if you're going to do the mine trick. And you can do the mine trick with as many characters as you want to, by the way. I can do it with all of my characters at the same time running out to that mine if I wanted to. So long as nobody's mining it. Well, that's basically all I can think to show you in this video. It's going to keep repeating over and over. I'm going to be doing the, basically the same tasks for the next hour and a half, two hours at the start of the game. So there's really nothing more that I can really show you in this video. Uh, before we really do anything else, I have to keep mining. I have to keep making money. What I'm aiming towards is I want uh, at least 10 characters for my squad. I would like a pack mule if at all possible. And once I have uh, 10 characters, a little bit of food for each of them, um, med kits on all of them, and I would say maybe like 10k cats. Uh, well, technically, I have two options in front of me. I can stay at this town, buy a house, and then basically fully automate the mines, which uh, will be dangerous because there's a lot of NPCs that roam through this area that attack me. Not, not only the skimmers, but there's also United Cities NPCs that will roam through this area and possibly attack me if they don't like me, uh, which they don't. And there's a few other things that I will have to watch out for in this area. Um, so this area really isn't the best to buy a house and then to focus on mining early on in the game, but we really don't have any other options. Uh, we, we can run to other towns nearby, but none of them are really better than this one. This is arguably the best town to do all of this. So we'll have to just try not to get sold into slavery and basically buy a town, uh, buy a house here and then focus on automating mine or uh, yeah, automating mining with that building. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. I will start part two shortly and, uh, explain a bit more once I have, uh, got caught up to that point. 
Apparently, uh, L's... Yeah, L's is uh, going to get attacked by the United Cities. This happens, too, inside the town. It's very annoying. They will... Uh, they're going to beat up L's in the middle of town. Or, cool, cool, they didn't. Sometimes they will, though. They'll beat them up in the middle of town. And, uh... And if you do, if you attack all of them with your other characters, then it'll start this big fight, and it's not very good because the guards will help them. Anyway, I was wrapping up this video, and I think it's probably best that I do wrap it up here because it's going to be monotonous from here on out for a little bit. If I forgot anything, left anything out, or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comments section below. It's always nice to get the correct information out there, and uh, I don't mind being corrected. If uh, you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a like because that helps me out quite a bit. And aside from that, I guess I will catch you guys around in the next part of my rock bottom walkthrough for Kenshi. Um, yeah, peace.